Welcome back to DIY Dell. Today we're diving deep into the icy waters of Cold War espionage with The Hunt for Red October. We'll compare Tom Clancy's gripping novel to its blockbuster film adaptation. Let's see how the two stack up. First up, let's talk plot. The core story in both the book and the movie revolves around Marco Ramius, a Soviet submarine captain trying to defect to the United States with the state-of-the-art sub, the Red October. While the movie follows the book's main storyline, it simplifies several subplots and characters for a tighter narrative. For example, in terms of character, the book de delves deeper into their backgrounds. Tom Clancy's detailed writing offers a complex portrayal of figures like Jack Ryan and Captain Ramius. The film, on the other hand, relies more on the charisma of its, its actor stars, like Sean Connery and Alec Baldwin, to bring these characters to life. However, some nuances are lost in translation. Thematically, both the book and movie capture the tension of the Cold War era. However, the book provides a more in-depth look at the political and military strategies of that time. The film focuses more on the suspense and action elements, which makes for a thrilling watch, but doesn't delve as deeply into the geopolitical intricacies. Critically and commercially, both the book and the film were major successes. The book established Tom Clancy as a master of military thrillers, while the film was praised for its direction and performances. Fans of the genre tend to appreciate the book for its detail and the movie for its fast-paced narrative. So, which is better, the book with its rich detail and depth, or the movie with its intense action and stellar performances? It might just come down to personal preference. Which do you prefer? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this comparison, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more book versus movie showdowns. Until next time.